Hello there, time for guns. More specifically, where to find those juicy firearms and enough ammo to keep your neighbors permanently dead. I'm here to walk you through the best locations to find these. We're going on a grand tour of Knox County Survivor. Have your vehicle prepped and your supplies ready. It's going to be a long journey. Before we start, I'd like to say a massive thank you to all of you. We exceeded the 1K subscriber mark and I am absolutely blown away by your support. Thank you once again. That said, let us begin. Starting off with Rosewood, this sleepy little town actually has some of the more challenging spots to find those sweet guns. If you spawned here and are looking to grab some guns quickly, you can head on over to the police station right across from the fire station. Police stations generally won't have the most exciting firearms, but if you're using the Breeders Weapon Mod Pack, you might be surprised. It's a good place if you want to get going and work your way up from there. Next up is a location that, in my experience, is not for the faint-hearted. Just outside of Rosewood is a military base that is absolutely crawling with illegal immigrants, especially if you are playing with a higher zombie population. To get through them, you would need a bit of firepower, but if you manage, you will be greeted with a divine horde of firearms in the armory. The armory seems small, but has quite the selection and will reward you for your efforts. Further north out of Rosewood, there is a military surplus store, which is also pretty decent and fairly easy to both get to and clear out. Last but not least, Knox County Prison. Long hailed as a rite of passage for newer players, it's among one of the most difficult places to clear, aside from the infamous Louisville Mall. Luckily for you, the armory is located just by the entrance to the prison, so you won't have to go through the entire building to get there. The next stop on our pilgrimage is Riverside. Riverside itself doesn't have much in the way of access to firearms. Your best bet is to visit the police station here and get some basic ones you need to get started. To continue your glorious quest for more Dhaka, you will need to head over to the other towns or the outlying areas. Next up is Muldrow. Aside from West Point, Muldrow is one of the more difficult spawns due to its naturally high zombie population. This is made even worse by higher population settings. Unfortunately, Muldrow doesn't have much in the way of firearm locations except for the small police station here. If you spawned here, hope and pray that RNG is on your side when you visit it. Next, our journey takes us to West Point. Long viewed as the most challenging spawn location that can even give seasoned players a tough time, West Point has some juicy options for more Dhaka. If you spawned here and are quickly looking for some guns, Head on over to the police station and loot the armory. If you're looking for something a bit more meaty, nearby Twiggies, the local bar in West Point, lies the West Point gun store. Getting in here is a bit tough, but I'm going to show you a neat little trick. All you need is a gas can, a lighter or some matches, a bottle of water and a neighbor's corpse. Simply place the corpse near a wall and light it on fire. As soon as you see the wall is burnt, extinguish the flame immediately and ta-da, you have an entrance. Now. Scamper in there and loot till your bags can carry no more. Finally, the last location on our tour brings us to the big daddy of firearm locations. It's the one and only Louisville. Chances are if you are here, you are already geared enough to wade through the masses of Zeds that litter the city. If you aren't, well, you're in for a fun time. Starting off just outside Louisville is the shooting range. You can go here to gather some more firepower before you head into the city. You're gonna need it, especially if you prefer firearms over melee. Just above that, there is also a hunting lodge that you can head on over to before you begin your expedition. Now, approaching the city, there is a location that I'm sure you are all familiar with. The army checkpoint at the entrance of Louisville is absolutely bursting with weapons, ammo, and protective clothing. If you are playing with breeders, then it's even more. There are a few Zeds that you will need to take care of before you go crazy though. Now, if that hasn't satisfied your loot goblin cravings, before you venture further, there is a small gun store to the southeast. Don't expect wild amounts of loot, but it's still a good stop off on our tour. Heading on up to the docks area, you will find a small gun store. Just further on from that, you'll come across the Ready Prep Army Surplus Store. Just like the Army Checkpoint, it's Black Friday here in terms of loot. It will most likely give you enough ammo for a long while. After you've stopped off at the Ready Prep, you can toddle on over to the repurposed building. Now, this one has a chance to spawn some ammo, but don't expect too much. Who knows? Luck might just be on your side in your playthrough. It is RNG after all. We are almost done with our Grand Tour Survivor. It's been a long road, but the biggest prize is yet to come. After you've finished your funny business in the Docklands, head on over towards the infamous Grand Ohio Mall, the final rite of passage for the seasoned survivor. Before we stop off there, just outside the parking lot is another gun store that you can get into. After you've wrapped that up, it's time to take all that firepower you've gathered and take the fight to the mall to earn your place in the Project Zomboid Hall of Fame. 
Once you've fought through the Black Friday craze shoppers, it's time to claim your prize. The Stars and Stripes Gun Store. This one has a stack of loot, well earned after all your hard work. Aside from that, there is a wealth of loot in the mall that you can ship back to your base, if you can get enough cars to do so. Whew. Congratulations on surviving the tour. Now, go forth and wreak havoc on the undead hordes of Kentucky. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like and subscribing. And if there's something that you want me to cover, feel free to drop it in the comments below. Good luck out there, Survivor. I'll see you in the next one.